Uh, the ketogenic diet is one of my staple tools that I use clinically to work with a number of different clients. And really when I think about a ketogenic diet, it's kind of like finding a car that has all the accessories of, you know, any your dream car in a sense, but gets significantly better gas mileage. Let's say like 100 miles per gallon compared to, you know, a big gigantic SUV that's all souped up, gets 20 miles per gallon. The reason why I say that is most people are burning sugar as their primary fuel source, and sugar is a dirty fuel source. What that means is it produces significantly less energy than burning ketones and produces a lot more metabolic waste, mm -hmm. roughly 30 to 40% more free radicals and what we call reactive oxygen species, which damage our mitochondria and damage our DNA. So you think about it from that perspective, when we can convert our metabolism into being keto adapted, where our body's adapted to burning these ketones, we produce more energy, less metabolic waste. Law, what does that mean for quality of life? That means we're gonna have better brain function because our brain uses these ketones. It means that we're gonna have better anti-aging characteristics, better longevity, lower risk of all types of metabolic diseases and chronic inflammatory diseases. That means autoimmune type issues, neurodegenerative issues like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia. That means cancer, heart disease. I mean, almost every chronic inflammatory disease out there is gonna significantly benefit by somebody becoming keto adapted and being able to utilize ketones as their primary energy source as opposed to sugar.